Thanks so much for staying with us. We are staying on the theme of Mother's Day coming up this weekend. And if maybe you'd like to make something special for the lady in your life, we have an exclusive strawberry shortcake recipe that's sure to be a yummy hit. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry already. Uh, we have uh, Brittany <laughs> McGee to thank for that recipe. She is the owner of the Humble Bee Shop. And back on our show, Humble Bee Shop is a bakery in Winston-Salem. Good morning, Brittany. Thanks for coming back and seeing us. Good morning, y'all. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. <laughs> We're excited about this. Brittany, I like to cook. I don't bake much, so I'm a little intimidated by baking a I little bit. Too. Can you talk about what we need to get started here? Yes, so I actually put together a strawberry shortcake with edible flowers. I wow. used my exclusive Humble Bee vanilla cake recipe that I also gave you guys as an exclusive to post on the website so you guys can make this at home. Okay. You're gonna need basics like flour, sugar, eggs, sour cream, because that helps with the moisture, and also uh, oil, milk, and um, baking powder and kosher salt. And so with that recipe for the Humble Bee recipe, you wanna take all your dry ingredients in a bowl, whisk those together nice and, you know, um, together. Uh, and then you have the wet ingredients with the sugar, the eggs, the sour cream and the oil. And then when you're mixing it all together, you're gonna have milk as the component to mix into the eggs and the sugar and the sour cream with the dry mixture. So you can either do that recipe or I also wanted to provide um, some other options for those of you at home who are more familiar with box cake because that's what I grew up on and I would love to share some hacks with you guys to make your box cake even better. Oh, let's hear it. But I have to give you a special shout out for how beautiful mm -hmm. that cake was that you just showed us with the edible flowers. That is like, that looks like my wow. favorite cake of all time. <laughs> it looks too pretty to eat. <laughs> No, it doesn't. <laughs> yes, and actually everything is edible. I got the strawberries. I figured, you know, it's it's beginning to be strawberry season. So yeah. I went to the farmer's market and got the strawberries. And then my friend Shelly, who owns her own uh, flower farm in Kernersville, My Garden Blooms, every single flower on here is edible. So that's what makes it even better is it's like naturally beautiful, but you don't have to worry about not being able to eat any beautiful component of it. Okay. Right, perfect. Okay, so you mentioned the hacks for your cake mix. Tell us about those. Yeah, so this is what was always in my pantry growing up. This is what my mom always used for her cake. So I went and got this. And on the back, it always has instructions, but you can actually substitute the oil part with half melted butter and half oil. It'll make the crumb of your cake a little bit more tender. Mm. And then instead of water, you can substitute milk to make it a little bit richer. So that way it'll still have like that light and airy um, uh, texture to it, but it'll be, it'll be a little bit more rich. And so that's the way that my mom kind of always doctored things up. So I wanted to share that part with you guys. And then another interesting cake hack, I didn't know this until recently, but um, you know how it's always kind of hard to spread this like straight out of the container? <laughs> what you actually should do is put it in a bowl separately and grab like a hand mixer with um, the beaters attached and you want to just whip this up so that way it's nice and airy and you can put it into a piping bag with a pretty tip. That's actually how I did this cake is I just put the um, buttercream in a bag and I just made a little star um, piping on top so it's decorative, but you also don't have to go through the headache of trying to like, you know, put on the icing and, you know, um, actually assemble the cake where everything's covered. So it kind of has like that naked cake look to it too. Okay. Brittany, I, I know that a lot of people like strawberry shortcake because it tends to be kind of a lighter dessert. Mm -hmm. You know, you eat it, you're not terribly yes, full. Yeah. With the hacks you just mentioned, adding some butter into this, uh, into the mix, adding icing instead of maybe kind of a, a whipped topping on top of that. Does that change that at all or is it still pretty light? It actually, it makes it much more palatable, I think. And with, especially with like that buttercream hack for the store bought, bought icing, it makes it so much like, um, it makes it aerated and it actually um, increases the volume too. So you get a little bit more when you whip the air into it. I liked your sour cream or Greek yogurt mm, mm -hmm. to swap. Yes, that is, that is an option. If that is something that you have on hand with the box cake mix, you can totally throw a tablespoon 
of either sour cream or Greek yogurt in there. You don't want to do too much yeah. because with baking, that's the thing. Like you kind of, it's a science. So you can't throw too much in there because the acid that's in the, um, the uh, buttercream or in the, excuse me, in the sour cream, as well as the Greek yogurt, it activates with the leavener. So mm. that also helps give it a little bit more oomph. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay. And Brittany, yeah. before you go, we want to hear um, about some of your classes that you're holding, right? For people to learn some more chances to learn some humble bee recipes. Yes, so I'm actually in my studio kitchen. Um, I closed my storefront at the beginning of the year to focus on this transition, setting this up. So this space is available to do classes, which I have several posted online, as well as one that will be at Shelly's Flower Farm in July. So we'll be making cakes and actually walking the grounds there. But this space is also available for rentals as well, for small intimate baby showers or small gatherings. And it's inclusive of a lot of different amenities. And what's really nice is the fact that it has a full kitchen. So if you wanted to have a baby shower and even like, you know, warm up your own food or bring food from other vendors, like you're totally able to do that in this space. It's, it's, it's inclusive in that way. So I've been really excited to share this with the world and I'm really happy to be here today kind of showcasing it off with the beautiful strawberry shortcake. <laughs> Absolutely, and we wish you much success. We wanna put that website on the screen for everyone mm -hmm. at home so they can get in contact with you. And we will also have the exclusive strawberry shortcake recipe posted only on the Triad CW website later on. So be sure to stay updated on that. But once again, the website, thehumblebeeshop.co is where you need to visit as well as follow along on Brittany's Instagram page. Thanks so much for your time, Brittany.